Okay guys, it is October 25th and I'm about to release the Moji Pro version 2.7 with the UAP V5. So on Moji Pro, if you go to open it, you should see a 2.7 up here that's going to be for the installation. And then these two files that go with. Remember that when you extract these things, they go right into your C drive. And all the notes explain it to you. Now the steps are all written out. I'll do a video training on this stuff later, but right now these steps right here and continuing through follow-up stuff for doing more advanced stuff is all right here okay so the steps are easy and it's written in such a way that the steps are basically copied to here with the changes that apply to it so this is the no geo this is doing runs that do not use geo targets versus the v5 geo which is doing runs that do include geo targets that's the only real difference there so for instance if i open the v5 geo form the step two it has five slots here, one, two, three, four, five, and one of them is for city states. That's geo targets there. That's the idea. Um, but if I open the no uh, no geo version, then it's got four. The one thing it's missing, of course, in this case, is the geo targets. That does not mean that the files supporting it are identical. They had to be reworded slightly because we had to take out word like in the greater blankety blank region. So don't just assume that um, the individual files that are here, like this model no geo.html is identical to the version that we have in this system file, which happens to have a different name, model with geo, model no geo. That's exactly because they're different. This one's uh, zero dash var sheet. That one's zero dash vars dash no dash geo. They are different. So don't mix them up. All right. Having said that, what's the one thing you really need to know? And before you start, and then when you start, go reading your stuff anyway to understand it. But here's really how this is going to be. You can start with either one, like I said, V5 geo or no geo. And ultimately, your first step is to open this fill this thing out completely don't leave any blanks hit submit okay and then hit this and what's it going to do it's going to run through and it's going to generate 10 profiles and run those pages out as a test it's just going to do 20 pages per profile so it's creating 200 pages right now spread across 10 profile folders all right you'll understand that stuff later 10 folders on the website is the idea except i only have it in test mode okay test mode means it's just creating these on my computer it's not uploading them now i can see them here okay i just know where they are and i can delete them because when i go doing lots and lots of runs that can gum up my folders of course and i want to i don't want to you know get get this up into the hundreds of megabytes without clearing it out so once in a while hit this maintenance button down here it can be like once every 20 runs or 100 runs doesn't matter just hit that and that'll dump that load completely back out so it's fresh for another run now when you're all satisfied you've done that much right and so far so good and you're saying now how do I raise the file count from 20 per folder up to like 100 per folder and that's what you ought to do uh, with with say 10 to 50 well 10 to 20 keywords or so that's about it well 10 to 50 uh, for 100 uh, files per folder but you're wondering how do I do that and how do I engage it so it actually uploads all that stuff and uploading takes time so don't worry if those uh, command prompt windows stay on it's just the way it's built all right so here's how you do it go into the related system folder so like this is the v5 no geo system folder and it has a uh, profile ends in dot pfl that's the name of it zz dash no dash geo dash auto zz no geo auto okay zz i just put there to make sure it shows up low so you can find it easily on the v5 geo of course it's basically the same idea go in the system file and you see a zz auto create that's the equivalent of the zz no geo auto Okay, they're pretty much the same idea. Now, they're set right now in test mode, but I want to change that. So how do I do it? This is what you're going to have to do to make the pages run live. So pay attention. I'm going to open one. You can click on one and it will open just the profile right now. You're, or the uh, Moji Pro interface window and you're saying, what the heck? This is the first tab. This is the second tab. You get to it by hitting either this or hitting that. And I say, how do I get this thing loaded up now? The answer is load it. Here's a load button. 
So just navigate to it. I'm on the NoGeo. Fine. That's the NoGeo. If I want to upload the other one, go to Geo, V5 Geo system and get that one. So whichever one you're doing, doesn't matter which one, you're going to have to engage both of them eventually if you're going to use both of them. Here's how you do it. Open it. And once it's open, here's the rules of thumb. Right now, it's saying use this HTML page with this CSV file, put the local pages here, and it's going to be set as though for this domain. In my case, the tester website. You're going to learn how to change this to your own website later, but in the meantime, use this one. That's what it's for. You can test. Uh, make sure you learn this stuff. This does need to be ABC123 for all the automated functionality. So don't create your own project information in here. Just leave it ABC123. Okay. See how I said it was set to file count of 20 per? Okay. Well, you can raise it now. You can make it 100. You can make it 200. Just remember, it's going to create 10 of these, so it's going to 100 really means it's going to put up 1,000 pages. 200 really would mean it's going to put up 2,000 pages by the time it's done. So just keep aware of that kind of thing. That's okay. Now, you can upload to the FTP server. BAP. Okay? That's what you had to do. Check that box. This will also say ABC123 to match this. That's because the domain information, the, the, what you would put in a browser window, has to match the FTP path for going up. Now in our training, it says you need public underscore HTML here. And it would look like this. Just remember it. But I created a different user, a different FTP user, a custom FTP user for everyone that's different from the default FTP user that came with this account. So in my case, that, that custom user connects right into that folder already. So just remember that normally you would have a public underscore HTML folder there for your own website. And in this case, no, because this particular FTP user connects right in there. Okay. Having said all that, hit save. So you checked that box, raised that number, Okay, those two things on this tab. Then on the next tab, that's this process data, it's the same thing. See how now we're on the process data tab, you can go back and forth. Okay. What do you need to do? Check this box down here, auto upload related files, FTP section. I check it. Okay. Now you can save it. Hit back, that's checked, 100, that's checked. That's three things plus we have to do one check, all right? We are in the no geo folder. We have to hit FTP up here. And yep, this lost the information that we saved earlier. And unfortunately, it's a little bit glitchy like that where if you do open this thing and make changes like this, I made changes and saved them, then this can get... Re, uh, put back to the default information so we have to fix it and you'll have to fix it too but it's not hard watch what I do first make sure the one you're in again no geo v5 no geo okay I want to upload a certain folder on my run so I get all those supporting images CSS files uploaded and everything how do I do it hit browse go to the right one v5 no geos in computer C drive way down v5 no geo and then into there I find related v5 files okay hit OK there now it's selected I want to see this in here okay and this should not be here anymore I want this related v5 files to get uploaded not into a project I want it to get uploaded into the root so just like that either with or without that slash that final slash. It doesn't matter which one, just as long as one's there. Okay? And so now that that's done, I'm good. I can hit save, I can flip back and forth, and I can check it, and there it is. It's all good to go. And I can hit, I can close it and save it. It's all good to go. It is fine now. By the way, um, there is a troubleshooting folder now, just a quick one. Wherever I put it, <laughs> I must have put it in the V5G and forgot to put it in the other one too, or what? Need to get it, yeah, in both spots. Copy, okay. Pat. 
paste. Yeah. Now, troubleshooting folder has these pictures to make sure that you understand these things. Okay? So don't worry. These pictures are there to make sure you understand these things. It tells you what you do if you don't see what you were looking for and stuff like that. All right? So you'd understand what's going on with all the little errors and all that kind of thing. Okay? And so this is really easy to follow, believe it or not when you when you go through the instructions okay now that I've had that done I can do it to my v5 geo as well and go in the system auto create it's gonna be a lot faster now that I know what I'm doing so let's go into the geo v5 geo system auto create that's the right one now okay and all this stuff is correct upload 100 save next check that box save you can hit save all the time it's not going to hurt anything by itself uh, of course it lost the right information so computer c drive v5 geo this time related files v5 files there that's there not into the project whap maybe even whap <laughs> and that's it now just hit you don't need to hit this unless you want to it'll just manually upload all this stuff into here if you do but it's controlled also by the automation so save and then that's it just make sure you did it all I got a hundred if I wanted or 200 I did check this box and I did check that box so everything is straight okay that's it now once you've done that you basically never need to change that ever again unless what you want to go back to test mode on purpose or you want to um, uh, change the file count or something like that or finally you're going to go in here because you're going to get your own website so you're going to edit this thing to get your own website information onto it right so that's when you get your own domain so you want to put your own domain in here still slash abc123 put your own ftp in here still slash abc123 your own username and usernames normally do not require this ampersand at the website they really don't no username would just look like that and then the password that's the default user like I said I created a different one for my website and so I had to have the extension for the different one all right and then just make sure it's all done go here yeah good it's saved fine save and then close it last word there is one more glitchy part do not hit this hit that okay and then hit load and go load up the other one v5 no geo system because if I do that for some weird reason it misunderstands and it captures the information and saves it the other way around you would not want to save the changes <laughs> so it's just small stuff whenever you're done with one of these just go ahead and close it out okay so we're gonna cancel out of that window close this thing out after all you know I can save this information or not up to me I can go back and look at it but I'm just showing you this is the piece to turn on uploads all right and so I'm just making sure you guys get a little familiarity with this file okay so that you understand what's going on so I'm gonna turn it back all right save turn that off save come back FTP okay good it's all there and that is right isn't it yes it is right good save okay and that's the geo boom and then I'll go to the no geo and open that one and just reset it back to the test mode okay remember it remembered v5 geo so I got to get in the right place okay just you know always pay attention now having done all that stuff let me see 20 turn that off turn that off okay if it gets lost oh it didn't I just got lucky haha <laughs> all right so there you have it okay that's it that's what you need to know to make your stuff live and so you don't have to do it every time you only have to do it the first time around and then if you make a copy of it and stuff like that you can do that uh, as you get deeper into it you can learn everything you can do to make copies so you can actually create like 10 for 10 different websites if you happen to have five you know two three four five or ten or twenty different websites a lot of people do and they their first question to me is can I make versions of all this stuff can I add to the steps in this batch file yes if you understand what you're reading here 
then you can you can make copies of this stuff to put it in here and you can change the variables to run each next thing so you can run several at once or you can just make copies of the whole thing and give them different names and then just change the variables inside each so you can manipulate them separately from each other that also goes for the menu generator VBS for the menu edit you you can change you can make copies of it give it new names it doesn't have to be menu generator it can be anything else gobbledygook.vbs project1.vbs domain1.vbs whatever you want and your desired results and the column it's going to read from remember the column it's going to read from is the actual column this follows the moji generator rules we had before uh, these are the defaults leave them alone for the UAP these are correct for the UAP and so that's really all you need to know about that all right and then also the Moji auto run the thing that auto creates the profiles and auto creates the batch files this is the automation version for it what does the actual creation of them is this macro that we now have in the Moji toolbar. So if you opened up a project in here and you got it all done, you got the menu generator done, for those of you familiar with all this, then you can do this to create all those profiles and batch files and they'll be ready for you. But they won't run right away. To, if you wanna do the version that, that suddenly runs it all right away, that creates those and runs them, that is this guy right here. Or at least, no, I'm sorry, this will create it all by itself but the final touch is in here. It's going to say, run this. It's always going to have this name, okay? ZZ stack uh, 64.batch, all right? And it'll be in the output folder of wherever it is that you're doing all your work, okay? So just keep in mind, you're going to have to create or move or whatever it is to make different versions if you want, but that's all advanced. We'll talk about it later. All I really wanted to say was none of your pages will go live until you go into the system, open this thing, check the first box, change the file count, check the second box, and then go into the FTP tab just to make sure that information is correct according to what you see in the troubleshooting, which is this FTP check, just making sure that this is correct. And then when you finally get your own website, then you're going to accommodate. You're going to put your website information in here and your username and password. And this is the FTP path to the root, right? Okay. And all that stuff is taught actually in these files. It's going to be taught in this step one. It's going to be taught further in this procedure uh, how to do projects in your own websites, how to do subdomains, all that kind of thing. So... There you have it, man. Now you're ready to roll. So where do you go from here? Just follow the instructions from here. Start with step one. You were told to watch this video. I haven't included it yet. I got to see the video name first and I'll put it in here. But then after that, just continue wherever you left off and keep right on going. Uh, or do it with the V5 No Geo. Same thing now. Step one, just pick up where you left off and keep right on going. Okay. First time around, takes a little time to make sure you get all the stuff dialed in right but really all you're learning how to do is to fill this out submit it and hit that button <laughs> that's the easiest way to run this thing and from there you can just expand as you wish and that's what the rest of the training is for all right you guys are going to really enjoy it it's ultra powerful you can create forms and send them to clients and like i say i'll do more uh video training over it all later but right now, I want to make sure to get this stuff out into your hands. Keep in mind, the V5 is brand new, so we haven't tested it on Google. We'll see how well it ranks and everything else. It's just a single example of what you can produce with this whole thing. Uh, Moji Pro is meant to take any web page on the net, basically, whether it's WordPress, Joomla, Weebly, or whatever, and make your own version of the page, like this HTML version here. Make your own model page. If I open it, it just looks like this. It looks blank, completely blank, right? And, but it's also going to run off of the related files that make it look correct. That's all of this stuff in here, okay? All of these images are actually going to make that page look awesome when it goes online, okay? No matter where you upload this stuff to, these will be auto-uploaded there automatically, completely automatically. And so what goes with that HTML page? A VAR sheet right now all this training for creating your own custom runs is the main purpose of moji pro we used to never have 
a V1, V2, V3, V4, now a V5 because the V3, V4 combination got over 50 million pages out there. That means all new pages are now duplicates, basically. And people started to finally hit me all at once and say, hey, my pages get indexed and then they get taken back down. That's why. That's one of the biggest reasons why. Uh, the other one is that V3, V4 was following older rules um, that Google did like. And I'm reiterating here. I'm just making a point about them. Okay. In the old days, you would put in links to Wikipedia that would go to a particular page that would relate to the keyword of this page. You know, wiki results for website promotion queries. And that's what it would do is go to Wikipedia for a so-called page where it filled that in automatically. Now, that's the old days. And also, you could go to ask. Dot com things like that you would have external links like this and so we all did it because for years this is the way you did it anyway this is just something that we added in at one point in time okay but doesn't work now so they had to come out so always keep on top of SEO keep on top of Google's requirements whatever it is Google wants we can build we can change we can adjust so the v5 was launched for both to satisfy both those issues so that we get these out of there and all other hidden links things like this which used to be in there um, they're gone um, and then separately also the stack hunter no script tags I talked about it before in an update and then finally and it's also taught in the training files uh, but then finally what oh the fact that all this content has been used for over 50 million web pages pretty much everything you see here uh, has been run through so many times that for Google all the combinations exist now 50 million pages will do that so <laughs> we had to create a new one and we did we've done it before we'll do it again this always happens or the 50 million pages out there is kind of like a magic number <laughs> and people see it with every spinner out there and so it's not unusual all right so you can take off with it now that's really all I have to say take off with it pound out runs feedback guys I want feedback put feedback in the forums uh, do whatever you want to do uh, just just uh, feedbacks helpful let me know if there's something you didn't understand after reading the instructions <laughs> that's a lot of instructions okay they're all here because they're because I spent a lot of time answering these sorts of things that are in these text files and if you go through them well it's the latest greatest version of the training that I have for you so this should be pretty smooth by now and it's and you can start again with a v5 geo or no geo they all have pretty much the same instructions uh just doctored for that version of the project okay feedback and everything that's all good and so those of you guys with old sites with v3 v4 on them rip that content out google's not gonna like it really soon here so rip it out Okay, yeah, rip that old content out, including the index pages, the main page, then put up new content, okay? For a main page, you just generate it out of one of your versions. We teach you how, again, in the training, we explain to you how to do it. All right, that's it. You can take off with it, roll with it. You'll be putting out your first major productions tonight, I'm sure. It's really not hard. All right, take care.